Wow, that's absolutely effing beautiful, <laughs> Deb, and it's so sad. But oh, everybody should see it. So the premise is that it's a man and a woman in a relationship and that their relationship story is told through the seven deadly sins. That's correct. Or certain moments in their relationship are opened up and described in terms of the certain seven deadly sins. It's quite a, this is a long relationship and there's lots of moments in it and so we look at seven moments and the sins become metaphors for, you know, well the skills become metaphors within the sins so we've got anger as a physical fight and trapeze is, the trapeze act is actually a beautiful um, sensual duet, a love duet. Um, the pole act is very, is a prideful act of great skill. Um, and then the swing trapeze act is joyful and beautiful and has goals for it in the ceiling. Buenos Aires donde cosecho mis anhelos y mis pasiones pero solo hay vacío y no estoy satisfecho. I'm the producer of uh, Awkward Productions. I've been working with Deb for about uh, yeah. two and a half, three years now, and we work very closely together on putting the shows together. Essentially, Awkward is definitely about creating a really um, international <coughs> product and then making that product as accessible as possible to as many people as possible, obviously, developing our audiences. So you were the original creator and performer in Deadly? That's correct, yes. In England, a circus is such a global art. In England in the late um, 80s, 90s, I met a Brazilian guy and we wanted to make this theatrical circus. We didn't want to do it just all for show. We felt that you could make a real a theatrical circus, circus that actually said something. So we worked together and actually we didn't get the funding for Deadly, the show, in England although we tried three times, but we got it in Brazil. So we actually went to Brazil to make it, mm -hmm. and we got a Brazilian director, dance director, to work with us, and we opened it at the Curitiba International Arts Festival, and I think it was about 1996. So why did you decide to do it again here? Uh, well, we performed it at internationally for about nearly 10 years, but at here, the reason I've decided to do it here is because I've got Rodrigo and Virginia, and they are amazing. It's quite a complex show, Debbie. It needs fantastic circus artists and fantastic actors and people that can move and dance. And Rodrigo um, Osses and Virginia Molina, who are here from Argentina at the moment, are those kind of multi-skilled performers and they're wonderful. Bueno, mi nombre es Rodrigo, empecé a hacer circo hace como 12 años atrás en Argentina y hice la escuela de circo allá que dura 3 años. Ahí entrené previamente, yo soy del sur de Argentina, un lugar muy parecido a Nueva Zelanda. Tengo algunos amigos que habían venido a Nueva Zelanda, eh, solo de viaje y nosotros teníamos muchas ganas de cambiar un poco de aire porque hacía mucho tiempo que estábamos trabajando con la misma compañía de circo entrenando en el mismo espacio todo el tiempo y necesitábamos un cambio There seems to me that thank God for downstage is all I can say if it wasn't for downstage my work would not be seen in New Zealand and I think this country people might think that was a crying shame <laughs> I hope there is anyway. So for me, Downstage has consistently provided um, a, a, an open-minded and very up there um, sort of aesthetic that Downstage knows what it can give to its audience. It wants to develop theatre, it wants to develop its audience and that's what's the most important thing for me because obviously I become part of that. Right.